Now that you have purchased your Duramax Tuner L5P tuning package, it's time for installation. Please pull your vehicle into a safe location before proceeding, preferably in your garage or somewhere out of the way. The entire process may take a couple of hours. You will need internet access for the entire process. Before removing your factory ECM, download and install the latest VCM suite available from hptuners.com forward slash downloads. You can also find downloads by visiting hptuners.com and selecting downloads from their top menu. From there, you can scroll down to download VCM suite. Follow on screen prompting to finish the installation process. Once the VCM suite software is downloaded and installed on your computer, open VCM scanner. Step two, perform replace ECM special function in VCM scanner. To do this, you're going to open VCM scanner on your computer. Plug your MPVI2 into your laptop first and then connect your MPVI2 to the vehicle's OBD2 port while the stock ECM is still installed. Turn the key to the on position. Next, select the vehicle icon that says connect to vehicle on the top items bar. From here, you will go to vehicle, then controls and special functions. Select the systems tab and click replace ECM to start the function. It will again ask you if the stock ECM is installed. Click OK. ECM data read successfully is going to be the next screen that pops up. Click OK. Turn the key back to the off position. You may now replace the stock ECM with your provided unlocked ECM. For instructions on this, make sure to watch our removing and replacing the L5P ECM video. Once the stock ECM has been replaced for your unlocked ECM, plug your MPVI2 into your computer and then to your, your vehicle's OBD2 port. Turn the key to the on position. On the computer, open VCM scanner Select the vehicle icon that says connect a vehicle. When this is open, go to vehicle, controls and special functions, change VIN. Here you can insert your vehicle's VIN number. Make sure it is correct with 17 digits. Once this is done, click OK. Again, go to Vehicles, click on Control and Special Functions, select the Systems tab, click Replace ECM to start the function. It will again ask you if the stock ECM is installed. This time, select No. It will then ask, have you installed the new replacement ECM? Select Yes. ECM replacement is now complete. Turn the key back to the off position. If you haven't unlocked TCM and have not already installed it, now is a good time to do so. There is no commanded swap process. Simply swap your unlocked TCM for the factory TCM. If you have one of our preloaded L5P ECMs, you may now start the vehicle. We pre-programmed your ECM with the VATS, or Vehicle Anti-Theft Security System, off. However, you will still need to do a crank relearn at some point. The vehicle must be up to operating temperature before doing this. We suggest an engine coolant temp above 160 degrees. In order to do a VATS on flash, you will need a GM tool. If you have an unlocked ECM and TCM with no tunes, or you are just looking to change your tunes, follow these steps. Open VCM Editor, 
and connect your MPVI2 to the computer first and then to the vehicle's OBD2 port. Validate your MPVI2 by resyncing it. Do this in the Help tab by clicking on Resync Interface. In VCM Editor, open up the custom tune that you would like to flash. You can do this by clicking on File, Open, and navigating to your desired tune. Select Right Vehicle. It's going to walk you through the licensing process. The ECM uses 10 credits to flash and the TCM uses four. If you purchase the MPVI2 and licenses from us, 14 credits should already be on this device. If you did not, you may need to buy credits at some point. Credits can be purchased directly from Calibrated Power, Duramax Tuner, or HP Tuners. If you were not prompted with a license pop-up, you will need to navigate to My Documents, HP Tuners, Settings, and delete the file named License.dat. Once this is removed, try again, and the prompt should appear to allow you to license the customer's ECM. Select Right Entire for ECM and TCM if this is the first time you are flashing. If you have already flashed the TCM once, you do not need to write to the TCM every time, and you can deselect it. Also, if this is a tune change, you can select right calibration, which should be a slightly quicker flash procedure. If your first attempt of writing a file to the ECM and TCM fails, try again. It may take a few times of attempting to flash before HP Tuner's file runs all the way through the process. Do not close the app at any point. Once the flash is completed, you will see Write Completed on the window. Select Close Window. Step 5. Crank Relearn. The crank relearn doesn't have to be done immediately, but should be done whenever you have a chance. The truck will need to be up to operating temperature. We suggest an engine coolant temp above 160 degrees, and it will need to be parked in a safe location. Open up VCM scanner, turn the key to the on position, connect your MPVI2 to the laptop and then to the vehicle. Make sure your vehicle is in park, with the parking brake set. Connect vehicle. Select the appropriate car icon in the top window. Select vehicle. Controls and special functions. Engine tab, crank relearn. When prompted, gradually rev the engine up to the fuel cut and release the gas pedal. This should complete the crank relearn process. Turn the key back to the off position. You have now successfully installed your Duramax Tuner L5P tuning package. For more information on your TCM relearn process, we have a video from Diesel Insights explaining how the Allison relearn works. Or refer to the written instructions with step six at the very end to walk you through a brief overview of how to do a driving relearn process. Do not tow or drive erratically before the TCM relearn process is completed. If you have any questions or need any assistance, feel free to give us a call at 815-568-7920 or email us at tickets at duramaxtuner.com.